Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today I'm going to be doing a video on what is going on with the Ethereum mining hash power and what is meant to happen on April 1st. So let's get into the video today. But before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date on all of our future videos here on the channel. And make sure you hit that like button. By hitting the like button, you'll help out the YouTube algorithm in recommending this video so more people will see it and know what's going on in cryptocurrency. So let's get into the video today. So if you haven't been following with up with what's going on in the Ethereum mining community, um, basically what's happening is there's a new plan that is supposed to go into effect around July for the Ethereum mining fees to be burned. So when you send Ethereum, it's going to burn that little bit of fee, meaning that there's going to be less Ethereum in the world, and that means it will deflate in value and go up in price. So the idea behind that is to get the coin to be more valuable by creating less coins overall. But the mining community is upset about that because their rewards for mining and supporting the network are going to drop quite a bit because the fees that they were once getting are now just being burned. There would still be the two coin reward for the blocks, but you would not be getting the fees, which as of right now can be as high as, you know, three to five coins a block, depending on the day and, and how much activity there is on the network. So the mining developers and the, the Ethereum developers had a uh, meeting with the mining community with some representatives, um, Bitsby Trippin. Uh, go check him out on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Really, really good uh, content creator there on cryptocurrency mining. He was one of the representatives for the mining community. And in that meeting, they did say that if we could, as miners, unite together and kind of show that we do have the power to put all of our mining hash rate or you know, roughly 40 to 50% of it onto one pool, they will consider not implementing the EIP-1559. So Red Panda Mining, which again, go check him out on YouTube, great guy for uh, mining content on in cryptocurrency, highly recommend his channel, but he put out a video, or I'm sorry, a tweet that said, for educational purposes, let's collectively move our hash to ethermine.org on April 1st for 51 hours, and then tag some other people here. Um, and basically what that means here is we're hopefully going to move to ethermine.org, which right now is the second highest pool with about 84 terahashes of Ethereum mining power on it. So what basically is going to happen, there's pretty much three potential outcomes. There's a good, there's a bad, and there's a middle ground. Uh, the good would be we successfully move, uh, you know, right around 50% of the hash powered here for the time being, mine, and then, you know, disperse back to the pools that you want to mine on. And the Ethereum developers say, okay, we were wrong, we'll take into consideration and there will be an update for the proposal. The bad option would be everything that just happened, you get all your, you know, 50% of your power onto Ethermine, and then there's a 51% attack, which could be um, irreplaceable damage to the Ethereum network, meaning that uh, we could be, you know, going back to 2015, 2014 Ethereum. So that could be bad. Um, and the kind of middle ground perfect opportunity is if we were to get about 40 to 50%, where you're not going over 50%, meaning you can't do a 51% attack but you're getting the 40% to show the Ethereum developers that, you know, we are serious and you should, you know, take us seriously and not get rid of the mining fees. So that's pretty much the short version of what's going on here. Um, we will have to wait and see what can happen. I think with the community that some of these YouTubers, like I said, uh, Red Panda Mining, really uh, great YouTuber. He's got about 73,000 subscribers. Son of a Tech, another really good uh, mining cryptocurrency YouTube channel. He's got about 70,000 subscribers. And then there's Bitsby Trippin, who's in the 50,000 subscriber range. So, you know, all together we have, you know, 150, almost 200,000 subscribers between these three YouTube channels that, you know, are seeing tweets and stuff like this. And of course, they've all done videos on this as well that could really get some of the mining community to move over to Ethermine on April 1st which could show the Ethereum developers that we are serious about this and, and don't want 
EIP-1559 to happen. So I think there's a good chance that we would be able to get up to that uh, hash rate time, uh, or that hash rate level, but we will just have to wait and see what happens. And the likelihood of a 51% attack happening I think is pretty low, but it is still a risk that would be taken if we go ahead and, and you know, get more than 50% of the hash rate onto any of the pools. It's not just Ethermine if it was, you know, Spark Pool or F2 Pool or anything like that. So it's definitely, um, definitely something to watch out for and see what happens. But I know I've done some videos in the past and I personally am mining Ethereum and I would like to not see the EIP-1559 work. I, I would hope that they don't implement it and start burning those because that would, you know, decrease the mining efficiency for both ASICs and GPU miners. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. So make sure you stay subscribed to my channel to continue getting update videos on this and other things going on in the cryptocurrency world. But if you like this video, again, hit that like button. You'll just get this video in front of more people, meaning more people will know about what's going on and maybe even start mining and help out for the cause. So other than that, make sure you're subscribed and I do hope to see you in my next video. Bye.